from Estéreo all the way from Mexico City. I'm your friend, Coach Adolf. I welcome you to On English every Monday as we go about um, inviting more and more people in Mexico to start to take back their English, to start learning English, or to continue strengthening or innovating their English. We're so grateful to Orbe Network and all this great family and community that supports us here every Monday to bring this live stream to you guys anywhere you are and whosoever you are. You know, I'm so passionate to be an English teacher and an English coach, but also I'm a life coach and my job is to inspire and motivate people, to accompany people in their life to get their goals, you know, because I believe it's important for us to know that every time we're working in innovating ourselves, in expanding ourselves, we are active people and we can contribute more to the world through our service, through our passion, through what we love to do. And today, my goal is to just do that, you know? And I thank you, all my supporters, all my viewers, all my community, my friends, my family, here in Mexico and also in my country, Belize, but also anybody that's, that is listening um, throughout Mexico and throughout the world because we're here to share. And sharing is what Orb is all about and what on English is here to serve. Okay, so today we are in our master class number four. It's incredible how we've been here for four weeks with you. Remember, this is a live stream in English. It's 100% in English so that you can practice. You can learn English by listening, listening to the words, listening to the phrases, to the sentences, to the sounds, to the rhythm that I transmit with my voice. And for me, it's so important to connect, connect with you and that you can listen to me and say, wow, I can understand this person because this is our goal, to start to invite you, my listeners, my viewers, to listen more consciously. And that is what today our topic is about, about learning consciously. Whenever we learn consciously, my friends, being conscious is something so nice because we are creatively doing the things. We're consciously, presently doing the things in the now. And whenever you start to notice that, you start to do it in a creative way. Whenever we use our subconscious mind, which is a good mind, we are repeating what we know already. We are in repetition. But today that we are learning a language called English, it is important for us to do it creatively with our conscious mind. Every word that you listen and you repeat or you use in English today, every phrase, every idea that you transmit, you are doing it today more and more with your conscious mind. Because you send that message to your brain and your brain produce and use the right chemicals called neurotransmitters and send it to your frontal lobe where is your brain? And you can send all of these messages throughout your body. And you produce the emotions and feelings. And you can start to feel that you are developing yourself as a bilingual or polyglot if you speak other languages. So learning consciously is knowing that everything that you are learning is purposeful. You're going to use it. It's not for you to save it in your notebook. It's not for you to study it. It's for you to familiarize with it and start to use it and practice it more and more. Because it's a tool of life. It's a tool that you learn how to use it. 
and the more you manipulate it, the more beneficial it becomes for you. And the same applies to English learning. Every time that you notice how to pronounce the words, because the words in English are not pronounced like Spanish or your native tongue or your mother tongue. English is a language that is stress-based. So when we say, for example, good morning, we express good morning. Because morning in English is, in Spanish is pronounced or read morning, good morning. But we don't say good morning. We'd say good morning, good morning. See? So it's a stress-based language. We don't read it. We repeat as it is stated, as it is pronounced. So it is important that we start to familiarize with this language in a more conscious way, that we spend time every day little by little, that it becomes our daily habit, our daily practice, that we start to look around our environment and start to call the things by their names that we can start to tell and talk to ourselves and tell us how we are doing today in English, start to think in English, start to have thoughts in English, start to have feelings and emotions in English. When you hear your cell phone say, oh, it's my cell phone, it's ringing, and you get emotional about it, so that you start to produce those chemicals because we learn in three steps, chemically, structurally, and functionally. And it's very important for us to know that, my friends. Every time that we are consciously, consciously knowing that we are producing the dopamine, the serotonin, the oxytocin, and all of those chemicals that are out there to do the things happily, with love, with passion, we can get our goals, you know? So it's about starting to be conscious every day, more and more, in the present, and know that whatever you are practicing is going to be your future. The attitude, the energy, the motion that you use in the moment is what is going to determine how confident your English is. So every time consciously learn, consciously review, consciously practice, and consciously, in a practical, functional way, start to use the language. Don't wait until you're advanced. Don't wait until you are um, C1 level or B2 level. Start to imagine that you are speaking the language right now with one verb, with one word. Okay, thanks, hi, hello, wonderful, amazing, great, sorry. You're already speaking, and that is the message consciously that you send to your brain, to your subconscious mind, to your program, to your memory. And every time, you change your perception about English. You start to understand that you are born to speak English, that you are born to speak many languages. I am a life coach, as I tell you, and I am here today to tell you that you can speak not just English, you can speak many, many languages. I even tell that to myself. But it is our decision. We decide based on our beliefs, based on how conscious we are, if we can obtain or get a second language in our life, or a third language, or any amount of languages that you would like to have, my friends. You know, I would like to take this time out, you know, to congratulate all my students in Mexico. I have wonderful students and coaches today that are learning with me, you know, with my platforms, with my techniques, with my methodology, which is very friendly and practical. And they are seeing the results in their life. 
Because one of the things that we work on is not really English. It's in our attitude. It's in our energy. It's in our attention, in our focus, in why we want this goal. What is this goal going to bring us? Why I need this goal into my life? And how I'm going to start to be bilingual immediately. Not a student, a bilingual mentality. A mentality that every time that I see something, if I see my glasses, if I see my cell phone, if I see my water, if I see a microphone, if I see a chair, if I use my microphone, you know, or my earplugs, anything, you know, earphones, I just say it in English. And it's going to happen. Why? Because that is the message that you are sending to your mind, with your conscious mind. And it's easy. It's not difficult. Whenever you think it's difficult, you're using programs, condition. You're using lack. Whenever you say, I'm going to be bilingual, I'm going to speak English, I can do this, you're using conscious mind. You're using faith. You're trusting in yourself. You believe in it. So it's not the language, per se. It is our beliefs, my dear friends. And you should be consciously reminding yourself, consciously, about this belief. Every time that you practice, every time that you are grateful, thankful, that you can take five minutes, ten minutes out of your day, with yourself consciously and say, I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice right now my verbs. Eat, ate, eaten, drink, drunk, drunk, run, 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 sleep, slept, slept, think, thought, thought, see, saw, seen. You see, and I'm practicing, and I'm grateful. I'm thankful to my conscious mind that I can do that. There's a lot of people that cannot do that because they are so programmed, they are so conditioned, they are so unconscious, and many times it's hard for them to take that decision. And I will tell you why. Because many times we take decisions based on our feelings and emotions, and many times we shouldn't take decisions based on our feelings and our emotions but on the principle, you know, on the principle, on the practice that we need to do. Because I know that many people, I believe in people, and I know that people can be greatness and express themselves like never before. I have worked with a lot of people like that, and I'm working right now with people like that. And I admire them because Many times, they just need somebody right there by their side to inspire them, to motivate them. And that's why I'm here, here today, this Monday on Promoesterio, in Orb Network, you know, with this great platform that I can share with you, you know, right now or after this live is finished, and that you can listen to Coach Adolf and you can say, wow. This is what I needed to feel inspired and to feel motivated. For me to feel more conscious. For me to do this and get this goal consciously. For me to know that I have to do it in a positive, inspiring, happy, and motivated way. If I don't have these keys, I'm not going to get it. I have to feel passionate about this. I have to know that there is a good reason, that there are benefits for me to get this goal. And that's why we are here, to encourage you to take that decision. And that's why we make this program 100% in English, so that 
you that is listening to me today feel inspired, feel conscious and say, I'm ready now. It's not the English like what Coach Adolf is talking about. It's about how much I want this goal. It's about if I'm ready, if I have the right energy, if I have the right vibration, and if I'm emanating the right frequencies to send this message, you know, to my brain, to my mind, to the universe, to my heart, you know, and I will get it. I tell you these things because I have worked with hundreds and hundreds of students, executives, you know, kids, you know, that I have inspired them to be bilingual. And today, they are bilinguals. They have been promoted to higher positions because they speak English today. And now they're taking coaching. They're taking life coaching, which in Mexico, oh my God, it is much needed because there's a lot of people that don't even know what is life coaching. They think that all the coaches are like everybody else. And no, there are different kinds of coaching. You know, I'm a life coach. I coach people in their life to change their mindset, to change their, their, their mindfulness, to change their perception about life, to reprogram themselves, to reactualize themselves to know that they are bigger and better than what they were yesterday. Your past doesn't determine you. What determines you is how you flow, how much you wake up every day consciously, how much you are creative, how much you're inspired to do the things much better, to be a creative person, to be a true leader for humanity, to be an inspiration to other people, to be a role model. So, today's program is about that. It's about getting this goal, English, with your conscious mind, doing it consciously. And every time you remind yourself that when you're conscious, really, really conscious, you are creative, you are inspired, you are motivated, and that you are going to be ready to do it well. So I invite you more and more to be more and more conscious in the present now with your presence. Do it, do it more and more. Believe that it is possible. Know that you can disrupt your life when you start to be more conscious, more present, and know that you have everything, everything, everything within you, within you. Because everything that you see outside, my dear friends, was made from within and, what, and was expressed without. And today, I just want to remind you that as your friend, as your teacher, as your life coach, so that you can start to be more conscious in whatever goal. We're on English and we're inspiring you to be bilingual, to practice English, to familiarize, to learn it in a different way, not in a program, collective, unconscious, conditioned, hard, boring, difficult way. For you to use your conscious mind and create your own methodology, your own technique, your own way. And your friend Coach Adolf will be by your side, encouraging you, motivating you, asking you those questions for you to go deeper. Like they say in English, to dig deeper and know that you have it within you. And maybe you can do it, like they say, in six months, eight months, in one year. 
You know, it all depends on how much you believe. It all depends on your courage. It all depends on your love, on the trust and faith that you have in yourself, not in other people. Don't expect people to help you. You have to save yourself. You have to rescue yourself from those programs and those conditions that many times don't allow you to be greatness, to be bilingual, trilingual, polyglot, or whatever amount of languages you want to speak or the amount of goals that you want to achieve in your life. Okay, my friends. I thank you and I thank Orb Network once again for this great opportunity to be with you once again this fourth week. We have a month with you. I am so grateful for the opportunity, humbly, to have this experience, you know, to be now on the radio. It's my first month and I know that if I have this wish and desire in my heart, it's for a reason and I have to believe in that. I have to have faith and trust in that. And that's why discipline and practice and consistency will get whatever you want. Okay, my friends, I thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, for liking, for commenting, and for viewing this live, this lovely, lovely Monday in the month of June 2024. Have a great week. I wish you the best. And you can always contact us here directly on Promo Stereo. We're here to serve you. We're your friends. Have a great, great day. Okay? Take care. I'll see you next Monday. Thank you. Goodbye. Es momento de despedirnos. Pero no te preocupes. Nos escuchamos durante la transmisión de la próxima semana.